Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Have you ever wondered if Tesla ever made a mistake? Normally the company is either praised or hated. It never seems to be constructive criticism. So far I believe that Tesla made one major mistake. And this one mistake absolutely changed the company and Elon Musk's mindset. Most people see Elon as a stubborn man, especially as of late. That being said, he is an engineer at heart and when he sees a better solution he often takes it. So today on the Daily Dollar, we're going over Tesla's biggest mistake so far and how it completely changed the company going forward to the future. So what was Tesla's biggest mistake you may now be asking? And that would be a mindset. A mindset of robotics and automation. And to understand that completely, we're going to have to rewind a bit. Before the Model 3 came out, Tesla had no cheap or nor affordable cars. Elon's scalable solution for this was a highly automated line. Essentially a robot to do every task. A single gigantic super machine that made other machines and it seemed like a great idea except it turned into an absolute catastrophe many of you who keep up with Tesla will remember this as production hell as Elon coined it and oh my was it an absolute nightmare for him because the problem with automating everything is that every single part in the process needs to work absolutely flawlessly if not the whole line shuts down this is one of the many reasons why the Model 3 was not as cheap nor as affordable as it should have been. And why the Model 3 and the Model Y were kind of two competing cars in the same company. They essentially have the same market. And I think many people have answered the question on why do the Model 3 and the Model Y look so similar. When you look at the two cars, you can barely tell from the outside the differences between them. Unless you walk around to the side of each vehicle as they're side by side, then you'll tell that the Model Y has a higher roof. But essentially in every other way, the two cars are identical, at least on the surface. But underneath, the Model 3 and the Model Y were constructed in completely different ways. When the Model 3 was being pushed into mass production, Elon still had the mindset of a completely automated line. And with his software background, that's not a surprising answer. The problem is when you're making something, it's not just software. If it was easy to automate and mass produce something with nothing but robotics machine and software, Apple would have discovered this a long time ago with the iPhones. If an iPhone that is about as flat as a pancake and is extremely easy to move around, carry, and adjust still can't automate its production line completely, the hopes of a completely automated car assembly line was basically a fantasy. That being said, the engineers at Tesla are no slouches, and Elon was not so set in his ways to not make a turnaround when he realized he messed up. This is when Tesla started to explore what they call gigacasting, essentially making large giant pieces instead of worrying about high complex assembly. Underneath these two vehicles, you have completely different frames. The Model Y has been focusing on its large gigacasting rear and front ends, while the Model 3 was largely stuck with the assembly line it originally had. You could basically say that the Model 3 was a failure. It was supposed to be the affordable car for the masses and it didn't become that. But besides that, it is probably the greatest lesson that Tesla has learned so far. Rather than focusing on extremely automated production, Tesla completely 180 by focusing on eliminating as many products, processes, and steps in its assembly line as possible. And their large giga castings alone reduced dozens of steps in the process. So now Tesla has switched from a mindset of extreme automation to a mindset of extreme simplification. So why the Model 3 largely failed in its price target, I think it was actually the biggest success of the company. And the Model Y does not look so similar because it's bad design, but instead the Model Y is the improved and refined Model 3 that it should have been originally. The cars are so similar because Tesla understood that it had to change the way it made cars. And rather than redesigning a whole new car from scratch, the Model Y was used as the production prototype for its Giga castings. A new way to make a car, and one that will have a greater impact on its future production. I've often heard the argument that Tesla's cars are unoriginal and that they all have the same design. Well, except for the Cybertruck, which is clearly thinking outside the box. Or Pyramid. But what they fail to understand is that Tesla is not designing cars. Their goal is not to make as many models as possible, but instead to be the most efficient, scalable, and largest producer of EVs possible. With efficiency and scale being the key words there. After all, Toyota did not become the largest car maker on the planet from having the most models. They became it by being the first and most efficient manufacturer of cars. While all the American and European car makers had these massive logistics supply chains, Toyota pioneered just-in-time manufacturing, giving them an efficiency and scaling edge that none of the others could compete with. 
Well, at least not without government protection. And that's what Tesla learned from its biggest mistake. It seemed like every few generations, the auto industry came up with an entirely new way to make cars. When the very first were invented, they were all pretty much custom made, similar to steam engines. And then Ford completely changed the world with the assembly line, standardized parts, and massive scale of the Model T. And then Toyota made another paradigm shift with just-in-time manufacturing, becoming the most efficient and scalable auto manufacturer in the world. Tesla is now doing what Toyota and Ford did before. The Giga castings are more than a fancy machine inside of a factory. It is a new way of making cars. And with the momentum that Tesla has, the other car makers are going to be extremely slow to catch up. And that's not even to mention their lead in momentum and battery production. Have you noticed that every other car maker keeps announcing and showing off these electric vehicles they're making? And then you go online to find out that they won't be made for another year or two or maybe more? Yeah, this is a reoccurring event for some reason. Car makers keep showing off cars they don't have, and cars they can't even make right now, or even within a few years. And I know most of Tesla's vehicles have been delayed numerous times. The difference was that Tesla needed the attention at that time. All its flashy reveals got it more money and more fundraising so it wouldn't go bankrupt. The big car makers are doing this and they don't have a way of actually supplying these vehicles. Most of them are just buying as many batteries as they can and slapping it together inside of a new chassis. And while some innovations are being made here and there, they're doing nothing at the moment to solve any of the major production problems. The next two decades are going to completely change the auto industry. Many of the large automakers we have come to know and respect are going to go bankrupt. And possibly a few new players will emerge, but it's not likely to be many. For example, Lucid will probably remain a luxury car maker, while other car makers like Rivian and Canoe will carve out other niches elsewhere. But many of the big automakers will not survive this transition. Currently as of now, General Motors and Volkswagen are the biggest two players that are taking this transition seriously, at least from the legacy automakers. Even though I will admit that Kia is making a pretty good resurrection right now. And the biggest asset that Tesla has now is momentum. It is scaling battery production. It is simplifying car manufacturing at the same time. For the next few years, Tesla is going to be focusing on the semi-truck as well as the Cybertruck. The pricing of which I'm going to be extremely curious about. As the Cybertruck is going to take gigacasting technology to an extreme that even the Model Y couldn't do. Especially with that super exoskeleton shell that it has going around it. Definitely keep an eye out for the price of the Cybertruck. But after that, it is expected that Tesla will produce the cheapest car it probably can, what will become its most affordable unit and its smallest vehicle. And unlike the Model 3, I think this will truly take the car industry by storm. The next most affordable Tesla will absolutely shake the car industry. Between the battery developments and the gigacasting techniques, I don't think any part of the legacy automakers are ready for that car. Not only will it be cheaper and more scalable than any car they can produce right now, not to mention actually available. I'm sure once the design is mostly finalized, alongside the production of the semi and Cybertruck, Tesla's next affordable car will determine its place in the future of the automotive industry, and whether it will rise to be the premier automaker, the next golden age of the auto industry. But let me know what you all think about the Model Y and the Model 3. Why do you think they look so similar? Was the Model Y the fixed version of the Model 3? Or did they really intend to just make a car with a slightly higher roof? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like the content we make, support the channel with a like, subscribe, and keep watching The Daily Dollar.